Hello and welcome to PPG Flyer. PPG Flyer is a new iOS app for both iPhone and Apple Watch that allows power paragliding pilots to view vital information during their flight. It even includes a feature that allows for navigation to preset waypoints or even back to your launch point. When you first launch the app, you'll want to set the units that you want to use. Just click this button to switch between English and metric. To start a flight, click the Start Flight button. The next screen is the Auto Start screen. PPG Flyer will determine your exact location and then become ready for flight. It may take a few minutes for the navigation system to pinpoint your exact location before the app is ready for flight. Now PPG Flyer is in Auto Start mode. You can go ahead and turn your phone off and put it in your pocket. PPG Flyer will automatically start your flight when your speed is above five kilometers per hour. If you want to manually start the flight without the auto start, just click the manual start button. This is the main flight window. The blue arrow in the center represents your location on the map below. The arrow's direction also correlates with the course that you are flying. The numbers above give you a whole variety of information. The first number here, altitude above origin, is the altitude above your launch point. The regular altitude above sea level is displayed below. The ground speed shows your speed with relation to the ground. The course is the current course you're going and the compass gives the direction that you're heading. The flight duration is the time that you've been in flight. The climb rate is the rate at which you are climbing or falling. And the distance to origin is the number uh, of, in miles or kilometers that you are away from your launch point. This direction to origin area is a very important area. This is where the navigation happens. So if you want to get back to where you launch from, let's suppose you are on a long flight and you're not sure exactly how to get back to your launch point, this arrow will direct you directly back to the launch point. If this arrow is pointing straight up, that means you are headed directly right back to the launch point. If it's pointing to the left, that means you need to turn to the left in order to be directed toward the launch point. If it's pointing to the right, you need to turn to the right in order to get back to your launch point. Again, if this yellow arrow here is pointed straight up, that means you're headed directly to the launch point. Right now, we're headed directly away from the launch point since it's straight down. Let's look at some of the other controls on this. This app was meant to be used with one hand, since obviously your other hand may be busy using the throttle or other controls. So in, in order to zoom the map, instead of pinching to zoom, we put in a slider here so that you just simply slide the slider up and down to zoom in and out. You can do, you can do this dynamically. Obviously, once you're zoomed out or zoomed in, you can use your thumb just to move around the map and uh, move it to wherever you want. Now, once you move it to a location, it doesn't automatically track your location and center your location in the map. That's what this button does. If you've moved and it's not tracking your location, just simply click this and it'll recenter and uh, continue to track your location. The satellite button uh, allows you to switch between a regular map mode and a satellite image view uh, of the terrain. Uh, this path uh, view or unshow allows you to uh, view or unshow the path that you've flown. So, for example, our start point was here. We've flown. This is the path that we've flown. If I click this, it'll hide that path. And if you click it again, it'll reshow the path. The X button is how you end the flight. So, when you're done with the flight, you just click this. PPG Flyer automatically records all flights in the flight log. So when you click on the flight log, it'll display all the flights that you've seen. The flight log is a great way to have all your flights recorded and saved to your iPhone. When you first have a flight saved, it'll say untitled as a title. This table gives you other information about uh, the date and time of the flight, the location of the flight, and the duration of the flight. You can search for a flight simply by clicking up here and typing anything to uh, search for. It'll even search the details, which we'll get to in a second. So if you want to view a flight that you've taken already, simply click on the flight to view it. If you want to delete a flight, simply swipe to the left and hit the delete button. So if you want to view a flight, click on a flight and it'll open up that flight in the flight viewer. This is an overview of the flight that you took. So it gives you the path of where you started from as well as um, your uh, path around and where you came back from. Again, some of these buttons are very uh, similar to the previous screen. The uh, satellite button takes you into a more of a terrain view, uh, and unclicking that takes you back to a map view. The info button allows you to give more information about this flight. So if you click here, 
Uh, when you first have a flight that you've uh, taken and you haven't typed anything into the details box, this will be empty. But you can click on this box and type in whatever information you want to save about this flight. For example, you might type in the equipment that you used uh, or any other details about the launch point or any other details about the flight. Uh, up here is the title of the flight. Initially, this will say untitled. You can click here to change the title and name of the flight. Down here, it gives you more information about the flight, including the maximum and minimum altitude, the uh, maximum speed and the average speed, the distance traveled, and the duration of the flight. Uh, to hide these, you can just click the info button to hide, the, to hide this. In this area down here, uh, what uh, PPG Flyer will do is display any pictures you've taken with your camera during the flight. So when you first look to view a flight, it'll ask you permission to access your photos. The reason it does this, it searches for photos that were taken during the flight, and then there were any, it will be displayed down here. It'll display as many photo, photos as you've taken. If you want to view an existing photo, just clicking on it will put a geotag of where that photo was taken in the flight. And then pressing and holding down on a picture that's shown down here will open up that picture full screen. This playback button is a very useful feature. You click it and it will play back your entire flight. So for example, in this particular flight, it just shows us right after takeoff. It's playing back in real time, just as you would during the flight. If you want to change the playback speed, you can click this button here. Right now we're at one times normal playback. If you click it, you can go all the way up to 32 times playback. So it's actually playing back your flight as you've taken it, along with the same information that you uh, would have recorded uh, during the flight uh, in the upper screen here. And if you want to pause the playback, you can hit pause here. Again, you can use this control to zoom in and out. Uh, you can just use your finger to move this screen around. Again, the target button works the same way. It'll recenter uh, the uh, uh, center location for your flight. And uh, the overlay button also works the same way as the show and hide overlays. There's a new slider up here in playback mode that allows you to actually slide through your entire flight. You can actually move back and forth through the flight and view any point during your flight and at what altitude you are at and what ground speed you're at. It's a very useful feature that it records all this information so that you can get uh, valuable information about different aspects of your flight. The trim button, which looks like a pair of scissors, allows you to trim a flight. So for example, if you have uh, some extraneous uh, data at the beginning of a flight, uh, so for example, you wanna just start your flight from where you took off, or you wanna uh, trim the flight from the end because you landed and you forgot to turn off the flight after you landed, you can trim a flight simply by moving the slider to the, the point where you wanna trim, and then click the trim button, and it'll ask you if you wanna trim from the start uh, from this point or from the end. So for example, you want to trim a few uh, seconds from the start, move the slider to where you want to trim to, hit from start, and all data from uh, the beginning to that point will be trimmed. If you want to trim from the end, simply uh, go to the end uh, and where you want to trim from, again, hit the trim button, and then select from end. PPG Flyer will log all of your flights that you've taken, and the flight log will show you all the logs, including a total of the distance and duration of all the flights. There's a couple of important features here that are new in the flight log. One is the export button. The export button allows you to export a GPX file of your entire route data. You can upload these to any website that can accept GPX files. To use this, you simply click on this button and then select the location where you want to send the GPX file. Another feature is that if you had a pre-planned route that you use for a flight, this new symbol will show up next to that particular flight. Clicking on this symbol will reload that exact same uh, route that you've pre-planned before for a new flight. So clicking there, for example, uh, will load that route uh, for their, your next flight. Once you're finished with the playback, you just click the X button to go back into the, uh, uh, the overview mode uh, for the flight. Remember the PPG flyer can actually work in the background. So when you're flying, you can actually have your phone in your pocket and asleep and uh, PPG Flyer will continue to record your location and all information. You can even open up the camera app to take pictures and uh, during your flight. And again, when you hit the playback, those pictures will automatically be displayed for you down here along with geotagging. Load this route button is, uh, has to do with uh, route planning. So we're gonna talk about route planning in a second, but let's suppose you planned a route for this flight and then in playback mode, you wanna reload the same uh, route plan, you can click this and it will reload that route plan for you. 
Once you're done, click done to go back uh, to uh, this screen. Again, at the bottom of the screen, it tells you the total distance of all the flights that were displayed here, as well as the duration of all the flights. This may be useful information for you to check the number of hours you may have on your motor. Click done to go back to the home screen. Now let's talk a little bit about how you can plan a, a route for uh, a trip. Let's suppose you want to take a trip and you want to plan different waypoints on the trip. Simply click on the plan route button to take you into the route planner. This will show you a map of your current location. We'll switch this again. This button switches you over to train mode. Uh, we're going to switch this map to train mode and we'll move to uh, wherever you think that uh, you'll be launching from. So let's go find our launch point here. And let's suppose this is the area that we're going to be launching from right here. Simply click and hold down on an area on the map to drop a pin. So that'll be your launch point. Now let's suppose after this, uh, you want to uh, go from here to uh, the, your first location. Uh, unlike the regular uh, flight view, you can use pinch to zoom uh, in order to zoom this map. So let's suppose you want to, your first uh, point you want to fly to is uh, to these mountains right here to the left. Simply click and hold to drop another pin. This will then give you the distance that so far that this path is taking. So it's 3.57 miles here. Now let's suppose you want to fly to the southern border of this lake here. Simply click and hold down again to drop another pin. And now you have two separate waypoints and your launch point. Now, if you plan on flying back to your uh, launch point, simply click this button here. This means it's a round trip and it'll reconnect uh, your, your path. So now you've created a flight path, which this current flight path is 13.58 miles. This is exactly if you're flying directly from here to here to here to here, it would be 13.58 miles. Now, obviously, a lot of times when we're flying, we don't fly in a direct, direct line. So you should use this as a reference only. Your flight, uh, actual flight, may be uh, much longer than this. So once you have your flight planned, you can put as many uh, 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 points as you want on the screen. If you want need to move a point, simply select, uh, click on it to select it. It turns red, and you can move the point to wherever you want. So let's suppose instead of flying here first, you wanted to fly over here first. Simply put that there, and now uh, the flight path will go like this. If you want to delete uh, a way path, let's suppose you decide not to fly here and you just want to fly to the lake in black, just simply select on a point to select it to, to make it red and click the delete pin button. That's with this button here. That'll delete that particular waypoint. Again, if you want to add a new waypoint, uh, waypoint, just simply click and hold down again to add a new waypoint. So it's very easy to uh, to create a path that you want to fly. And what's amazing about the app is that once you create the path, it'll actually direct you to the waypoints. So let's go ahead and hit save here. And now you can see that the, the planned route is 14.1 uh, miles. Now that you have your route set, you can click start flight and start your route. Now that you have a route set, you can see that there's new, these new gray uh, areas on the map. These gray areas are your path that you've selected during your route. PBG Flyer will direct you to the next waypoint. Notice how these two items here now say distance to waypoint and direction to waypoint. They're not directing you back to your uh, origin anymore. They're directing you to the next waypoint. So if this arrow here is pointing straight up, that means you are on a path to the next waypoint. And so this point arrow should be pointed up, and this should be around zero degrees, then you're headed directly to the waypoint. Once you're within 200 meters of the waypoint, PPG Flyer will automatically delete that next waypoint for you and give you an audible alert that you've reached the waypoint. Once that happens, it'll direct you to the waypoint that you've selected after that. If you want to manually delete the next waypoint, let's suppose you don't, you decide you don't want to go to this place, uh, but you want to go to the, the one after that, the, the waypoint after that, simply click on this, this delete uh, pin button. What this does is it allows you to delete the next waypoint. So that now that that waypoint is deleted, PPG Flyer is now directing you to the waypoint after that, uh, this, uh, uh, that one that you deleted. Now, let's suppose you didn't even uh, plan a route, or you did plan a route, but you want to change your route uh, while you're in flight, and you want to add a new waypoint. So, for example, let's suppose we want to go to this point up here. Simply, even when you're flying, or even if you haven't created a route, simply click and hold down on a, on a particular location, and allows you to add a waypoint to that location. So now PPG Flyer will be directing you to that waypoint. So using route planning and waypoints, PPG Flyer allows you to have great navigation uh, to exactly where you need to go. 
If you don't have any waypoints on the map, then it will direct you back to your origin or where you took off from. So it's very powerful, and this way it makes sure you don't get lost uh, during your flight. Again, if you want to stop a flight, just click on the stop button to stop your flight. Now let's talk about the Apple Watch. PVG Flyer includes a Watch OS app that you can install on your Apple Watch that works either in conjunction with the iPhone app or as a standalone app by itself. This is the interface that you'll see when you launch the Apple Watch app. Again, it can run in conjunction with the iPhone app. It can be connected to the iPhone and display information from the iPhone directly on your Apple Watch, or it can work independently. If you want it to work with the iPhone app, you need to launch the PPG Flyer app on your iPhone first and have it open before you launch the Apple Watch app. In that case, if it's the Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone, this button here, which says Start Flight, will say Start on iPhone. That way you know that you are running in conjunction with your, app, uh, with your iPhone. If you don't, if your iPhone's not with you uh, or the PPG Flyer app on your iPhone is not running, this uh, button will say Start Flight, which means that the Watch app will run independent uh, of the iPhone app. When you click Start Flight and it's connected to your iPhone, the, this button will display uh, Auto Start, which means that the iPhone is in Auto Start mode. And when you start your flight, your flight information then will be displayed in your Apple Watch. All the vital information will be displayed, including your altitude, ground speed, etc., as well as your navigation information. So even with your Apple Watch, uh, you can navigate directly back to uh, your launch point or to any waypoints that you have set, It'll, and it will automatically sync with your iPhone. This concludes this demonstration of the PPG Flyer app. I'm a new flyer to PPG Flying and also an iOS programmer and decided that the apps that they have in the App Store are inadequate for PPG Flying, so I decided to create my own. I'm releasing this app for free to the PPG Flying community as a community service to them. I'm only an iOS program and not an Android programmer, so there is no Android version of this app. If anybody wants to create an Android version, I'd be happy to share the source code with them. Simply just email me uh, at the support link on our website. In the future, I want to be able to share flight information with other flyers. So the flight log that you see there, including the pictures that you take during a flight, in future versions of the app, I want to be able to share them uh, so that if you're in a location that you're not normally at and you want to see where other people have taken off from and what flights they've taken, you'll be able to view that information. I think this would be very beneficial to the PPG flying community. That's the direction I want to go with this app. If you have other suggestions for features in the app, simply email me at the email address on our website. Thanks for watching.